Hi guys, I'm James. Welcome to my home style. So we moved here last March 2021. We've lived here for about two and a half years now. It's a three-story home with a master's bedroom, a guest room, a gym, office studio, and an office. This is my favorite piece. This is a piece by Ugo Bigyan. It's my favorite because it was a gift to me by my mom um, way back 10 years ago. So one of the great reasons to have a house is you can actually have more space for plants. Being a plantito, this is my first plant brought inside this house. I'm really proud of it. I think one of the most important things about personalizing your home is to create as you go. So I have pieces, for example, that are from my ancestral home and then I DIY'd it to become a candelabra. My home style is modern tropical Filipino with contemporary art. Here in the ground floor, you'll notice a lot of plants, natural materials, because I really like to find my house uh, well ventilated and has a lot of natural light. This is our veranda. Here you'll find a lot of natural light and this is where most of the wind is coming from. Um, here I've also done the landscaping and I just want to show you my ancestral home in Baholod. So it, it's really such an important piece. I appreciate this most when I'm having my breakfast here in the morning. So this is my kitchen. This is where all the magic happens. So I'm a health food entrepreneur. This is where I develop new recipes for our brands, Kitos of Manila, The Sugar Free Bakery, and more. This is the dining area. So I love table setting. To make it more interesting, I usually pull out plants from our edible garden, different textures, different materials, just to keep it interesting every time. Welcome to the second floor gallery. We enjoy collecting art. Uh, you have here paintings from Filipino, Indonesia, and even Thai artists. The second floor is just a warm up into the third floor where you'll see more of our collection. This is the guest room on the second floor. One important tip is when designing a guest room, you keep it gender neutral and cozy. Welcome to the master's bedroom, my favorite space in the house. As you can see, I keep everything neutral. You don't see a lot of distractions here, no electronics, no gadgets. This room was intended only for sleep and rest. One of my favorite projects in the house is this outdoor bath, inspired by one of our trips in Bali. After a long day at work, there's nothing I look forward to the most than just soaking in this bath. Welcome to the third floor. As I mentioned earlier, each floor is different. Here in the den, you'll find a lot of our contemporary art displays. One of my favorite pieces, for example, is this painting by Mark Barreto, this chair by Ito Kish. Over there, you'll find distort monsters and a sculpture by Carl Modelo. Over here, you'll find more interesting pieces. You see this heart by Leroy Nu and this painting by Christian Tamundong. And here, we don't have to talk about this, but this is where I keep my secret snack stash. So this is the office. This is also where we display our collection of black and white paintings. So 
So when we moved here during the pandemic, this was the first room that we finished. This is the gym. This is also where I start my day before going to work. So this is my private sanctuary, also known as my studio. Here you'll find a lot of my favorite artists. This is one from a Thai artist, Chatu. And this one is from a local artist, Gabi Prado. This is also where I do my painting. This is where I do my reading, my meditation, or if I decide to work from home, this is my quiet personal space. Speaking of personal space, I might as well show you my clutter also. Not every home is as clean as they look. So, here's the confession. So thank you, E2, for visiting my home. I hope you enjoyed the tour. But for now, it's time for you to go. Bye!